Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. I'm a self-taught makeup enthusiast who absolutely loves trying out indie brands. And that's what we're going to be doing today. I am going to be trying out two products that I got from Guide Beauty. Just a heads up that uh, I actually received these as gifts. So I didn't actually buy them myself, but all opinions are my own and um, you know, I'm not going to be holding back. So if you guys want to hear my first impression, thoughts, review, all of that, then please keep on watching. As I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to be trying out these two products from Guide Beauty. I'm really excited. The packaging is really, really cool. And I've actually, before receiving these products, I had never heard of the brand. So I'm just really excited to try out a new brand. So let's just jump into it. All right, so to start off, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm actually wearing no makeup on right now. All right, so let's open her up. Oh, okay. So this is what it looks like. It kind of looks a little bit like a pipe or like a vape or something. Really interesting packaging. I'm pretty sure this brand was created or like the packaging was created to um, help people with like motor skills issues. They were created by makeup artist and beauty educator Terry Bryant. Oh, t okay. Terry was diagnosed with Parkinson's that makes sense that she wanted to create products and applicators that are easier to hold when you have a condition like Parkinson's to help, like if they have like shaky hands or have trouble gripping things. I think the applicator on the products is supposed to help guide your hand so you're a bit more precise. It says here on the side, clasp color comb. Our innovative applicator steadies and guides your hand. The precision tip brush and the guide ring I'm guessing that's this thing over here. Make framing and filling your brows a cinch. The conditioning formula provides buildable, mistake-proof color and natural looking hold. Very cool. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see what the applicator looks like. So I'm not really sure how this little thing helps guide your hand. Maybe I'm not really sure. Okay. It is very natural looking and it's also, it's very cool toned. The sticker on here makes it look like it'll be kind of a slightly more warm leaning product as far as tone. It's actually very, very cool toned. Personally, I prefer that in my products. I feel like I look kind of weird with warm toned brows. Not sure what to think. It's definitely way more natural than I normally wear my brows and I kind of colored a little outside the lines, which I will clean up later. I feel like also this brush doesn't pick up a whole lot of product, which I guess is good if you don't have the steadiest hand so that you don't, you know, spill everywhere, but it means that you're kind of dipping back in fairly frequently. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Okay. I look like a mess. I'm going to clean these up. I'm going to probably do the rest of my face or most of my face, and then I'll be back to do the eyeliner. All right. So uh, most of my face is done and time to move on to the guideline eyeliner. And this is in the shade black. So we've got the, the eyeliner. This is like a gel eyeliner pot. And then we have two precision tip eyeliner applicators, as it says in here. And there are these like little Little things like that. Um, it says you're supposed to replace the wand tip every three months. Oh, was I supposed to get a wand? Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm very confused. Yeah, I think I was supposed to get a wand and I didn't. Uh, so that's fine actually. I'll just use a brush. I actually, I got this as a gift, so I guess they forgot to give me the wand part, but that's fine. I don't really know how I feel about this applicator. Although like, I feel like to get the whole experience, I need to try it with this, but you know what, it's fine. All right, so I'm just gonna dip into here. Again, never tried this before. I don't 
Don't use gel liner that often. It's actually surprisingly creamy, but not super, like, I mean, it's rich, but it's not super rich. I usually prefer liquid liner, so this isn't really a product that I would normally reach for, but you know what? It's nice and matte. It glides on really easily. Yeah, this is super nice. I don't know how I feel about the, the applicators. I don't know, I prefer an angled brush to do liner. It's just what I am comfortable with. I guess if you have motor skill issues or issues with um, like dexterity with your hands, it might be easier to use something like that. Yeah, that looks really nice. Wow, look at how intense that is. That looks really nice. Uh, okay, I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and then I'll show you the final look. Okay, so this is the final look. Uh, okay, so let's talk about these products. The brows. I didn't like these. First of all, I wouldn't be using this product by itself. Even though it is nicely pigmented, it just doesn't really... The shape of the applicator, like, there, it's really difficult to apply a brow gel and also use it to shape your brows, which I think it said that you can do. Framing and filling. So I interpret that as shaping. I would use a brow pencil to shape my brows first and then fill it in with this. The like consistency formula, it's good, I think. A little waxy feeling and kind of flakes off a little bit. The color is pretty good, although I wouldn't call this medium. This is pretty dark in my opinion. I don't know, maybe it's just because my eyebrows are dark that it looks dark. I don't know if I'd call this medium. I like that it's on the ashier side, but I don't know what people with more like warm tones in their hair would do. Yeah, so they have light, medium, and dark. That doesn't really give you a whole lot of options. And it is $26, which is kind of expensive. I, uh, I mean, I guess they're kind of positioning themselves as like a higher-ish end. I don't know. I didn't love it. I think I give it a 3.75 out of five. It's okay. I just wasn't wowed by it. The eyeliner, on the other hand, I very much enjoyed this. Yeah, so this eyeliner is $24, which is like more than I'd want to spend, but okay. Yeah, $50 for both. So presumably it's about like $26 just for the applicator, which seems like a lot. And I don't think you can actually buy the applicator by itself. It's a little odd, like the the guide one. A little weird, I don't know, I don't really get it. But just talking about the eyeliner itself, I loved it, I give it a solid five out of five. It's really, really nice. I mean, it lasted fine. It's not maybe as rich black as I typically go for, and it's not, I don't think you can even get it as rich black as a liquid liner in this kind of formula, but it's really, really pretty, glided on you know, effortlessly, seems to be lasting really nicely. No complaints, really like it, highly recommend. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't love the uh, the brow product, but at least I like something out of this. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below if you've tried anything from Guide Beauty. I've like literally never heard of this brand until I was gifted a couple products. So I'm guessing they're not huge. <laughs> But yeah, they seem they seem like an interesting brand. I'm curious to see what else they come up with because the thought and sort of message behind their brand is really strong, really great, very inclusive. So I'm curious to see what they come out with next. If you like the type of looks that I do here on my channel and you want to see more, I'd love it if you could follow me on my other social media. And if you enjoy the content that I post here on my channel, I'd love it if you could subscribe and turn on notifications and that way you'll get updated every time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys next time.